Kevin Rudd, good to see you. Good to be on the program. Why were your colleagues so eager to knife you? Well, each uh, of the individuals uh, who were responsible for the coup in June of 2010, of which there are really only about half a dozen core organisers, had their own ambition. It's perfectly Shakespearean. Shakespearean. They wanted my job, and those who weren't going to get my job wanted elevation. Secondly, I was keen to avoid any blood on the carpet and for me to be part of the process. Julia, you'll find when you're Prime Minister, it is a crushingly punishing job. But the parallel question, of course, Lee, is why would someone move to decapitate a first-term Prime Minister? Do you believe that Julia Gillard started plotting against you? Julia saw, I think, her first opportunity, the first chink in the armour, to begin to have a go. If you win, you're Labor leader. That if you lose, you retire from politics. If I lose, of course, I would announce that I would not contest the next election. And the truth is, if we're all being perfectly honest about it right now, is that we're on course for a catastrophic defeat. Malcolm Turnbull called both you and Tony Abbott miserable, miserable ghosts hanging around. What do you say to that? Look, it's not fun to go through uh, your own decapitation. Uh, it's, uh, it's a visceral experience. Yeah, but Malcolm, I actually left politics five years ago uh, at the conclusion of the 2013 election. There's another bloke that didn't. And he's been organising coup and counter-coup ever since. Kevin Rudd, thank you very much. I said back then that I believed politics was about power, and whether that power was for the few or the many. Fifteen years later, that remains my view. I said back then that I believed in the politics of hope, not in the politics of fear. Fear. The arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. justice. In recent years, politics has failed the Australian people. There's just been too much negativity all round. There's been an erosion of trust, negative, destructive, personal politics, personal politics, personal politics, has done much to bring dishonour to our parliament, but done nothing to address the urgent challenges facing our nation. <laughs> Shit happens. Given the history of promised power transitions in Australian politics, and also three terms in you'd be lucky to be re-elected isn't it a bit of a patronizing offer to make i think if you achieve smooth leadership transition early enough in a government then the ability to regenerate that government through a new leader is entirely possible 